Hey guys, welcome back to COD Wins. In today's video, we're going to be talking about times when Mackenzie Turner tricked people in Roblox. Let's head into it. Her Brookhaven Pranks Wolfpack and Aiden Lee Wolf have created this role-playing game, and I'm sure you all know about it. There's so many amenities available, including a daycare center and church, a school and entertainment center, the mayor's bank, among other things. Now, Brookhaven offers a wide range of housing and transportation options, each with its own set of customization options. And it even includes schools for residents to choose from. The preschooler in this video is attempting to perform a practical joke on her with the use of a drink in this video. It's a ton of fun! Evernest juice ever! It always makes me happy when I'm sad! And if you drink it, any wish you could dream will come true! Wanna try it? Really? Any wish? Sure, I'll try it! Ew! Gross! It's pickle juice! I think I'm gonna be sick! Gotcha! It worked, didn't it? You aren't sad anymore! Make sure to write your thoughts on all of her pranks in the comment section. Customers may purchase a broad variety of items in Brookhaven, including flowers, messages to loved ones, and other things. With that information, she planned her next practical joke, which involved tricking her best friend into thinking she was going on a date with someone. It's so funny. Me, I thought this day would never end! Samesies, I hate history class! It makes my brain hurt! Are you excited for the school dance tomorrow? Uh, I am, but only if Jack would ask me to go with him to the dance. He's so dreamy, but I don't think he even knows I exist. Well, I really hope he asks you, Skye. <gasps> Pets were formally permitted to run free in Brookhaven, but that was just a few years ago. Players can also purchase certain types of pets from the vendor. If you choose pets and click on the star while not holding them, you'll be able to equip those creatures with items. The bear pet Mackenzie bought for her friend was intended to be a practical prank, but it was actually her friend who pulled a practical joke on her with it in the end. Unbelievable. Uh, me too. Her and her family always make our camping trip so much fun. Too bad she's on a business trip in Bloxburg. She really has been working a lot. I feel like I haven't seen her in weeks. It's okay. We'll have fun with them next year. Yeah, I hope so. I don't want to go any longer without seeing my best friend. Later that night. John, John, did you hear that? Hear what? That noise outside. Relax, Kenzie. It was probably just the wind. Go back to sleep. We don't want to wake Caden up. Okay, yeah, you're probably right. John, there it was again. Did you hear it? <sighs> the Roblox vehicle business may trace its origins back to 2008 to 2009 when the traditional driver's seat was, for the most part, the only control mechanism accessible. Now, as role-playing games became increasingly popular on Roblox, this trend assisted the expansion of the sector, which resulted in a spike in demand for automobiles, particularly in city-based maps, which fueled the growth of the industry. Among the Robloxians who have chosen to acquire a car is Mackenzie's friend, whom she tormented by setting fire to a copy of her automobile. Crazy. You, next, next, thank you, next, I'm so grateful for my car. By the way, which one of these pranks is the funniest one? Let us know in the comment section below. Will she be banned for this? If you're banned from Roblox, it's a type of account suspension that occurs when you break one of the site's terms of service or community rules. In most cases, players are handed warnings after their first few violations and the number of warnings a user can get before being subjected to an actual ban varies depending on the circumstances. The account can be cancelled without prior notice, and this includes pranking, which is exactly what Mackenzie does. In certain cases, the programs or injectable DLL files used by Mackenzie to troll are a direct violation of the Roblox's terms of service and may result in a permanent ban. Trolls can also exploit flaws in the scripting or structure of the game. When she was an adult, the famed car troll utilized a fake automobile to disseminate false information about her and her family. Roblox doesn't penalize players who engage in these exploits, but they may be excluded from the game by the creator. Trolling is largely rewarded to be a suitable term for such programs, but pranking is widely thought to be an appropriate phrase. 
trolls are individuals that purposely cause harm to others in an unfair manner. What do you think about these pranks? Do you think they're going to get her banned? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. But this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like if you did and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Activate the bell so you won't miss out on any of our future videos. And watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. Enjoy your day and we'll see you in the next video.